So there folks, welcome back to Lords of Football. It's the first day of training for Dirtsville United. I'm calling all the players onto the pitch. Uh, one of the first things I'm going to do is sweep into the main office, uh, check the competitions. So the way this works is uh, we are in the English second division. I'm pretty sure we are. Uh, stop, get off. Just double check. Yeah, there we are. Okay, right. So no matches have been played yet, which is why we're right down near the bottom. Um, if we get relegated in the second division, it's game over. So as long as we start the relegation zone, we are fine. Obviously, the goal is to get up here and get promoted to the Premiership. Um, our first match, which isn't for another day yet. We don't. Oh, there we are. We're going to be against the Sheffield Raptors. Um, so I'm just going to quickly have a look at the Raptors. See how good they are. Where are they? Sheffield Raptors. One star. Okay, so we can probably defeat them. That would be good. That would be a nice start to it. How many stars have we got? We're three stars. Okay. Uh, so what we'll be doing is we'll be checking this regularly to make sure we're, we're doing well. The other thing we want to check is the challenges. Now then, as we do things in here, we can unlock better training for our people. Um, so f scoring five goals will upgrade the gym. We definitely want to try and get that done. Keep a clean sheet will unlock the passing training. We're not too fussed about that yet. Uh, 50 physical points, with that can wait. 50 tactical. Yeah, we could do with getting that one. And also 50 technical for the main pitch. Uh, the rest of them we're not too worried about. Uh, the other thing we can look at is the market, uh, which doesn't work like a standard football manager. There's no like, there's no money to involve. Basically, we can say what we want to buy and we can say who we want to sell, and it's just done automatically. Um, th there's only two transfer windows a year, just like in real football. So there's that to think about. Uh, this visual graph also shows us how well our players are doing. And already we can see that our strongest section of the field is our defence. Thank God. Uh, so that's pretty good. Uh, ideally, we will eventually want to turn all of these green, which will mean selling some of the yellow players off. Uh, so there is that to bear in mind. Club info uh, just shows us our kit and our badge and our current star rating. So we can see here automatically who our good players are, who our weak players are. So people that we're going to want to replace pretty sharpish, probably the goalie, uh, the midfield, central midfield area. Um, the reserves and subs aren't too too much to worry about. So yeah, our main areas to concentrate on first are the goalie and our central mid. We're going to need to boost that up. Um, so let's leave that. We don't have very long. The timer is ticking. Uh, and we have to be quite quick so we have to start giving people training exercises. Um, so we'll probably just start everyone off on passing because uh, it's a core skill. Something everyone needs to know. We're also going to set up... Um, We'll set up set pieces so the goalies have got something to do. Oh god, this is... Oh, get off. This is so hard to set all this up on the first day. Uh, if we grab all the goalkeepers, we can put those straight on the set pieces over there. And we're going to grab the strikers and put the strikers on as well. We're also going to want another striker at some point. We're going to have to buy one. Three isn't enough. We want four in case we get any injuries. Um, all these bloody help techs we don't need. Grab all these guys, get them working on their passing. All those guys, and that one that escaped. There we go. So, right, these guys are now all working on their passing skill. And as you can see, you can see the numbers that show you how good they are. It's going to start building up. Um, if we select a player... Oh god, the guy's talking again. Don't worry about that, I'll mute him. Um, so yeah, we can see the stats that we need. This is fourth wind here is on the left wing. So these uh, the skills with the star, the skills we want to train him up in first. These are his most important skills. Um, they're all split into three columns. Go away. Uh, physical, which is stuff. Um, it's all the same for each character. The same five skills. We've got aerial ability, which is like heading. Uh, natural fitness, which is um, how resilient to injury they are and how much they get their energy back fast. Speed, pretty obvious. Stamina, pretty obvious. Strength, um, the higher the strength, the more chance they've got of surviving tackles, like winning when they tackle someone. Uh, dribbling is obviously possession of the ball. Finishing is for the strikers, for you know scoring on the goal. Free kicks is for corner kicks, uh, free kicks and penalties. Marking is, uh, is mainly tackling. Uh, passing is obviously just passing. And then on the tactical side, determination. Don't know what this does. 
uh, obviously it makes them more determined, but I don't know what effect it actually has on the gameplay. Um, creativity is for the strikers again. It's how creative they'll be, how how good they are at like pulling off tricks, like you know, avoiding being tackled when they're in the box and stuff like that. Uh, leadership is mainly for the captain. Positioning is obvious, and teamwork. Uh, I think that just it gives you more chance of like when someone passes that the other guy will be ready to take the ball and stuff like that. And then this is the important thing: the need section. Now, uh, this is this is the sim style side to the game. So there's these six stats: ego, party, sex, gambling, food, and alcohol. And once the training phase is over, during the night phase, the players are going to go off into the town and indulge in these various activities. Now, where the bar is blue, this is something we need them to do. So, like for tonight, fourth wind. Ideally, we want them either gambling, eating, or drinking. Um, you can't see it yet because it's the first day, but these bars, once they do these activities, they will start creeping into this side where it will turn yellow. And if it gets all the way to the end, they will become addicted to this activity. If they become addicted to an activity, we have to punish them, which will be on the small pitch. We can choose punishments for each of the things. Um, and that they, they'll refuse to train, they'll dick about, they won't play very well, and we'll have to put them in punishment and get that, get that back down, basically. Um, so we have to sort of balance the needs versus the addictions to keep the players happy, because while they're happy, they'll play better. Uh, so that's the way it works. The other thing we're going to want to watch um, in this early game is their energy levels. If they start to get tired during training, we'll need to take them to the physiotherapist. Um, that will get their energy back, because if, they're, if they don't have enough energy during the match, obviously we're going to have to substitute them, and you only get three subs per match. So that's something to watch. We've also got the gymnasium here, which we can do indoor activities for, which is good for when it's raining or snowing. We shouldn't have to worry about that for a bit because we're in July. Now then, our first match is a friendly match versus the Milton Keynes Diamonds, because before the actual um, the league kicks off, we get to play a friendly match just to test our team out. Um, so that this episode is going to be the training side, the nightlife, and then the friendly match. Um, so hopefully we're going to win, but obviously it's, it's not a disaster if we don't win that match. Um, I've also noticed our second match is going to be for the English Cup, because um, you play for the league and the cup in one season. Uh, so if we go to the competitions, and then the English Cup, we can have a look at that. We're going to be against the Huddles Huddersfield Towers. Uh, I don't know how good that team is. Can we check them out? Let's have a look. Huddersfield Towers. They're one and a half stars, so that's not too bad. Uh, we can probably beat them. Let's go back to these stats for that. Uh, so yeah, there's going to be it's in you know standard cup format, so there'll be one round, two round, three rounds, quarterfinals, semi-finals, and finals. Um, I seriously doubt on this first season that we're going to make it through to the finals, so we'll be lucky to make the quarterfinals, I think. But we'll try. We'll see what we can do. Uh, so yeah, we're getting close. Where this bar is, this is the nighttime stage. So we're getting close to the nighttime stage. Uh, and this is the town where people will do their activities. We've got a disco, a fan club, a restaurant, a pub, uh, a radio tower, and a casino. And if we go in, uh, the pub is one of the areas we're going to have to work on the most because this is the only place where we can switch the activity between alcohol and sex. Uh, and at the start of the game, this is the only place where you can build the sex needs. So we need to basically regularly switch between alcohol and sex in the pub and try and manage everyone off with that. Oh, it's going to be difficult. It is the, the the early stage of the game is difficult, and this is the first time I've started as a second league team as well. Um, if you may have noticed on the last episode at the end when I when I saved the game, I also have another save as the Dirtsville Nomads, which are a Premier League team, which is going really well. Uh, right, we're getting close to the end. We'll get a warning when it's uh, end of training hours, so we're going to make them train right through to the end. We can let them go off early, which makes them happier, but also increases the chance that they will get addicted to things. Uh, official training hours are over, so if we blow the whistle, yeah. that's it for today. Everyone will head off. When night falls, it's time for your footballers to unwind with a night out on the town. This is your opportunity to boost the effects of the daytime training. Keeping the mood of your footballers high will motivate them to perform even better in the upcoming match. Okay, so as the guy said, that's what we've got to do, keep them, keep them happy. Uh, my usual tactic is to concentrate mainly on the first 11, because those are the guys you've got to worry about. I look for anyone who's got a strong need, so anyone who's down like four bars or more in a blue thing, and then I will put them in the appropriate activity. Uh, for this first day, we shouldn't need to worry about it too much. 
Um, it looks like more people are in the blue for alcohol than they are for sex, so we're going to leave the pub set to alcohol. There is one or two people who want sex, but never mind. We'll leave them on alcohol for today and put the sex on tomorrow. Yeah, everyone's good. Because everyone's good, I'm going to click the fast forward button, because we don't need to follow them around town and check them all out. Uh, so we'll, we will skip. Skip the helpful pop-ups and get towards our first friendly match and see if we can win. The temptations of life can get the better of your footballers. Bad behaviour and addictions can start to develop within your team and seriously affect their performance. Imagine finding a star player drunk before an important match. This type of behaviour could be a possible consequence if you don't keep an eye on the nighttime activities of your players. There are buildings available within the club's grounds which recover footballers from a number of different ailments like low energy, injuries, bad behaviours and addictions. Okay, so the guy pretty much just told you everything I told you. Uh, so let's go in for our first match, our friendly against uh, Milton Keynes. Now hopefully the frame rate won't be too bad here, because unfortunately this game does not run very well on my computer, or indeed any computer from what I've seen on the forums. Um, it's not very well optimised, uh, and it does it does tank a bit, especially during the night scenes and the uh, the matches. Oh, so hopefully hopefully we'll do well on this match, and it will play smoothly, I hope. So here we go, uh, it's a home match, we should be wearing our home kit, we're against the Milton Keynes Diamonds. Uh, we're three stars, they're two and a half. Our attack is way better than theirs. Our midfield, pretty even. Uh, and the defence, our defence is solid, look at that. So, all in all, I'm predicting a win. A minor win, maybe 1-0, that'd be nice. Uh, so here you can see the team it is lagging a bit as they run out, it always does. Oh, God. Down to like two FPS at that point. Um, so here we go. Here we go indeed. If we click this up here, we can see um, all of our players. You can see their moods. Tailwind is a bit sad. Let's wait for the guys to finish talking in peace. Wait. 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 By issuing commands to your team. By giving the correct command at the right time, you can even snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. Yeah, so basically what he was saying there is what I'm going to get to. Um, so as I was saying, Terrawin is a bit moody at the moment, he's a bit sad, so we're going to have to make sure we watch his needs on the next nighttime phase. Um, Helovius and Demetrius are pretty good, pretty happy. Um, and as we play well, like if we score a goal, the whole team's mood will go up. If, it, if we concede a goal, the whole team's mood will go down. Pascal just got a foul there. That won't make him too happy. Um, yeah. So we'll watch them play. Uh, and also the energy levels here. Obviously, we will need to sub people as their energy goes down. They will get a small energy boost at half time, so they will fill back up. Uh, what's going on? We've got a throw in going on up there. We've got a tactical editor which will allow us to make our substitutions and if we wish we can alter our tactics. Um, and then down the bottom here we've got a pause button uh, which we're not going to be using and then there's these commands that we can use. Basically we're not going to use the commands. You can do but I feel it's a little bit cheap. I would rather, I want to see if Dirksville can, can get to the top of the league without me interfering basically so that's, that's the goal. So as as much as it's tempting to use the quickly defend or quickly attack buttons, we're not gonna. We're just gonna watch them go for it, uh, and, and hope we do well. Now you see their mood went down there. Uh, that was because obviously the enemy team took a shot at the goal. Now luckily it didn't go in, but um, the players obviously they don't like it when someone breaks past their defense, so their mood will generally go down a bit. So now nobody is happy. Their mood has dropped a bit. Um, and this is going to be like the standard mood for the early stages of the game. It's not until like your second season where players start to get really happy because your performance is going well. Uh, we managed to push down there but didn't capitalise on it. I mean this is going to happen a lot, a lot. Um, until we train our players up and buy some better players, it's going to be a pretty middling game. There's going to be a lot of a lot of draws at like 0-0 and one all. Oh, oh, half of the offer there taking a shot on goal but he missed, he missed, went a bit wide. Uh, this is their goalie for the enemy team, Andrew Butler. 
Uh, so yeah, th we're going to hope that we can score a goal. Alphalos has got the ball there, he's not going to get away with that. Oh, somebody's been given a card, yellow card for that, too, that guy. Uh, they can, the referees can issue an automatic red card, I've seen that happen. Uh, and also, same as standard football, if, he, if that guy gets a second yellow card, he will be upgraded to a red, he'll be sent off. Um, obviously, if they get a man sent off, that would be great for us, because <laughs> that would really help, but we've got to make sure we don't get a man sent off either. Um, unfortunately, the players do foul quite a lot, and there's not much we can do to control that. As you can see there, Ulrich Bricks going in for a foul. Um, I've had it before, many a times where I've lost a match because the, the team has fouled someone in the penalty box, which is bad news. That was fucking close. Someone managed to clear the ball out there. Gandalf Rally managed to clear the ball off the side. Oh, God. We're coming up for half-time. Energy levels aren't too bad, actually. But it is the first day, so that's not surprising. As we start training people, they will be uh, they'll be tired as they come into the match. Oh, oh, it's been passed up to Balthalos, and he wasn't offside. That's amazing. Can he, can he slip it past them? No, the goalie took it off him. Ah. See, if we'd have trained his creativity up there, there's a chance he could have hopped the goalie and just pounded it in. But uh, obviously in the early game, that's not going to happen. Not going to happen at all. Ronald there on the midfield. And that's half-time already. Oh, God, that was quick. So, looking at the team after half-time, the most tired is Alphalos. So we're going to want to keep an eye on Alphalos. If he gets too tired, uh, basically if his health drops to about four bars, we'll substitute him out, bring on a different striker. Because it will start to affect his performance. He's going for it though. Look at him running up the wing there. Oh. Oh. He got you past that guy. That's the creativity trait. If we boost that up, he'll be able to do that a lot more. Oh, that was close. Someone got happy over there. Because that was a good run on goal. Look, the team's starting to get happy again. Demetrius is getting a little bit tired. We'll keep an eye on him. Oh, it's so tempting to sort of interfere when they're going up the goal like that. Because basically, as, the, as they're running up the wings, if you... um. If you click the start counter attack, the rest of the players will move into a position where they can receive the ball to make like increases the chances of getting a good shot on goal. Oh, that bounce off that guy's head. <laughs> that also happens a lot. You can never guarantee the ball's gonna go where they want it to go, because a lot of the times it just bounces off another player. Another thing you'll see is that the game is pretty uh pretty confused about the offside rule. It seems to call offside a lot, and often when it's not somebody offside. I mean, that was, but, um, yeah, sometimes it doesn't look like there's anybody offside and it still calls it, so, never mind. Half of the offer there, with, with the ball, what's he going to do? He's probably not going to do anything. There is, a, there is another thing where the players seem to get stuck in a loop of just, like, the weird defender and a midfielder, like, stood here, just passing it between them, <laughs> waiting for the guys. Or you'll get, um, one of your strikers will get the ball and then all the enemy players, like, four or five of them will just dogpile him to get it off him. That should be a goal kick to us. Um, allow us to clear it out a bit. I'm just going to have a quick look. Alphalos is still doing okay. There's a pretty good chance this is going to end in a 0-0 draw, which isn't the most exciting start, but that's what happens when you pick a crap team to start with. I mean, obviously we will get better through training. But we really want to... I mean, when the first transfer window comes in, that's going to make a big difference. We can buy a good goalkeeper a good striker and a couple of good midfielders and the, the team will be transformed by that. Alphalos there, passing to no one basically. They do that a lot as well, passing when there's no one there to really pass it to, especially like oh, the amount of times I've seen them pass it to an enemy defender, just like there's no one, literally no one there and they've passed it up. Oh, what's Alphalos up to? Oh, that was crap. See, he, he passed instead of taking a shot. That was, that was a bad choice bad choice. Let's see if we can bring it back up. Come on, guys. No, he's just going to dick about with it. Here we go. Just passing it back and forth for a bit. Oh, that's not bad. Oh! Oh, no! Oh! Oh! No, too high. Oh! So, yeah, as you can see, the lack of training is really affecting them. Their, their, their shots just aren't on target. Which is a shame. They're making a substitute. There's only ten minutes left. Uh, I don't think it's worth subbing anyone, actually. I think we'll leave it. Ten minutes is going to go by pretty quickly. Nobody's going to get to the end of their energy bar. Um, so we'll just let the first 11 have their play. Seven is going there. Oh, no, he's going to bring it backwards, isn't he? Could have, could have turned round and round for it, but no. Brought the ball back. And now they're just going to dick about, passing it back and forth. 
Oh no, he's found an opening. Oh, this this could be good. Go on, go on, send it up. No, no, why? Oh. That was ridiculous. Oh my god, it almost went in. <laughs> oh, I often got called offside. Happens so much. Everyone's getting very tired now, as you can see. We will have to train them in their stamina. Um, but we will do. We'll train up their fitness and their stamina when it's a rainy day, because then we can put them inside. Because they don't like training in the rain, it will affect their mood. Only a couple of minutes left. It's still nil nil. I don't think Halfloss is going to be able to do anything here. It'd be a miracle if they managed to do anything from this. He did manage to hop over that guy. That was quite cool. But you know, he just passed it straight off the fucking pitch. <laughs> so there's the final whistle. Nil nil draw in our first family match. That's to be expected, to be honest with you. Uh, man of the match, Gandalf Rally, excellent. Let's have a look at the. Uh, yep, yeah, he did pretty well. They give you these ratings of how well your players did, but they seem to be a bit sort of arbitrary. There doesn't seem to be much real reason about them. Like if somebody scores a goal, it pretty much rockets them up to 10 straight away. Uh, so yeah, we didn't do any subs, we didn't get any cards, that's brilliant. No goals. End of day one. So that's the end of the friendly match. Now. The next match is the cup match for the opening round, uh, so hopefully we can score a goal in that match and get through to the next round of the cup match. Uh, so what we'll do is I will save it here, uh, and then the next episode will be the training day, the nightlife, and the cup match all in one episode. Um, so, that, end of the episode, I will see you next time folks. Bye bye.